this is unacceptable unacceptable <laughs> It's your girl Christian Danielle and welcome back if you are new here welcome and if you're returning y'all already know what's up y'all are the real MVPs and whether you are new or returning what y'all gotta do make sure you like comment subscribe share and do what tell a friend to tell a friend to tell foe Oh, one, two, three, four. FOMO friends. <laughs> that is because we are trying to go up all 2024 and we can only do that as a community. So connect with me so that I can connect with you. All right. And all right. So y'all know what we got going on over here. I do lifestyle travel and DIY content. And today I have a DIY for you guys. And before we get into this video, let me just say right now, my DIYs on this channel are about to go up okay like all the way up just like joe and them said all the way up because the way that i have had all of these creative ideas and things to do is only right that i share them with y'all one in particular is going to be my clothes okay the way i'm about to start cutting up clothes altering my clothes you know jimmy rigging my clothes is is about to be like something crazy because i've recently got back into the gym we trying to work it out you know spring and summer is coming up and we got to show up and show out so stay tuned for that because the clothing diy is about to be up, up but anyhow today's diy is going to be on one of my bags so there is a bag that i own that i have decided that i want to put back into rotation and it needs a little help before it can get put back into rotation so the bag that we are speaking of is this y'all see what bag this is this is the mark jacobs the tote bag the very popular <laughs> tote bag this bag i got when it first came out i bought it at nordstrom literally whenever this bag first came out i got it before it was like viral i got this and i really liked it in the beginning and then it kind of you know fell off a little bit now there's several reasons why this bag kind of fell off for me number one i just said it uh became viral anybody who knows me knows that i don't like doing stuff when everybody else is doing it i am one of those type of people that i like to kind of be like my own individualistic self so like i said i got this when it first came out i was rocking it didn't know the bag was viral i had no clue that this bag was viral on tiktok because i have barely started using tiktok within this last like year or so right so i didn't know that this bag was viral and the way people were reacting to this when i was outside was just strange to me so quick backstory of how i ended up putting this bag away and not using it so again i got it when it first came out was wearing it wearing it wearing it people the way people started reacting should have been my sign that maybe something was going on with this bag. So there were three separate instances that should have said to me, like, yo, something is going on with this bag. <laughs> the first one, I was in um, that store at home. I was in that store at home and I went through the checkout and the girl who rang me up, it was the way that she talked about the bag she talked about it like it was gold and she talked about it in such a way like she was a like she just saw her favorite celebrity she said oh my god and i'm like looking at her thinking what what she's like oh my god i love your bag i i, I can't wait to get mine i'm gonna get mine next week and I just said thank you but then when I left I said that was very strange that should have been a sign right now something was going on because her reaction to the bag was just too much right too much usually when you see something that's cute you're like oh that's cute I like your bag woo, woo, woo. move on about your business but the way she fangirled about the bag should have been a sign then number two I was in another store same kind of situation fangirling the the she was younger and she goes oh my god your bag is so pretty your bag is so nice i love it i love it i love it and it's not that she thought it was cute 
it's the way that she reacted to it third time i'm in the mall in the mall chilling minding my business walking around and i had my headphones on because i was talking to my best friend so you know when you have your headphones on and you're distracted by a conversation and you don't really hear what's going on around you but you see something and it looks crazy that's what happens so i'm walking in the mall and all of a sudden i see this lady and her mom they busted a full sprint like sprint like they was running up on me to do something to me and i was just looking at them like what is going on is something happening and then they get to me and the mom is like my daughter wants that bag so bad can you please tell me how much you paid for it and the daughter is like <laughs> like she can't breathe again like they seen a celebrity and i said what the heck is happening here i don't know <laughs> so i said i didn't remember because i had bought the bag a long time ago so i was just i just gave her like a rough estimate and i left fast forward to like a year maybe a year and a half ago when i had started going really going on tiktok that's when i noticed that this was a thing and that's why those people were reacting to me like that but by the time i had reached tiktok this had already been hung up in the rafters i had stopped using it and I had stopped using it because like i said i like to be individual individualistic and i started noticing that people there was a lot of people out with this bag and i said eh, i don't think i want to wear that anymore right <laughs> well at least not right now so now that the hype of this bag has died down i feel like it's only right that i put it back into rotation because now like i've seen people with it but i don't really see people with it because everybody like knocked off this bag or other brands have copied the style of this bag because it was i think this bag is one of mark jacobs most popular styles of bag and i see why because it's very convenient like you just throw everything in there it's easy access this is the mini one the mini tote it has a strap but i think all of them have a strap i think all the sizes come with the strap but i just like this one because it's real small and it's real cute however big small or mini strap or no strap so many people was rocking this bag at the time which is why i had stopped using it now that is the first reason that i had stopped wearing this bag but the second reason is why we are here today with this video the second reason is because the color do y'all see how this color is on this bag so i had stopped wearing it as well because i didn't really wear it that much but it was already fading now you see like you could really tell i don't know if you can see on camera but you could really tell on the handles like on the camera is picking up but it's not picking up as much as it is, as it is in person but y'all this was like black when i first bought it like black black then it turned into this like gray red brown nasty faded color and that is one thing i did not like about this and you can mainly see it like i said on the straps you can see it on the side like by the zipper and stuff how the zipper is completely different color this little part and on the edges on the edges it's real 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 bad again this i got this bag when it first came out so they probably hadn't ran into that issue yet because it was new because i do know um, when I see this particular style bag now in black, it's more of like it's made with um, like a leather type of material instead of this material. So I don't know if they're still making it with this material, but that's probably a flaw that they realized along the way. And now they make it a little bit differently. And you can really tell when you put the strap next to it. Look at look at the difference. When you wear this bag with this strap, it just looks so bad to me. I seen a guy who had this bag in the store and it just looked like his bag went through the ringer because his was the same color like this. Matter of fact, his was more faded. And I said, that right there is why I do not want to wear this because I ain't trying to look like a bum in these streets. No, like, no disrespect, but I'm not trying to look bummy out here in these streets. And that's what this is giving with it being faded like this. It's just not it's not cute and it's not attractive and even with this other strap because i got um another strap to go with this bag even with this strap it still doesn't look good like this is black black and then this is like faded and then this is white it looks good when i first got it but then now it's just ugh. and then this right here 
just in case anybody was wondering wants to ask this is another strap i bought this from the mark jacobs outlet in cabazon so if you ever find yourself in palms well the palm springs area or in california near cabazon you can go to the outlets over there and they sell the mark jacobs straps at the outlet store it's pretty thick just like the one that comes with it and then right here you probably can't see it but it says right here mark jacobs so if you don't care about it saying mark jacobs you can just go on amazon and get you like a little cheapy one for like probably like 15 dollars um if you want because i think this was maybe like 40 or 50 dollars i don't remember but yeah like i said even with this strap still looks raggedy so we have to address this which is why this video has come about so we are going to attempt to dye this bag you know back to black bring it back to its original state when I first got it because this is unacceptable unacceptable so we might as well just experiment with it see if we could do something with it because I really want to bring this back into rotation and yeah and if we mess it up who's really gonna care because I'm not wearing it anyway <laughs> so yeah now when i dye this i am going to put the entire bag in the dye i'm not going to cover this white part or this part that says mark jacobs in any way shape or form i'm just going to dip the whole thing in the water and see what happens like if this gets its color changed i really again not probably gonna care because that will just make my bag look different from everybody else's remember i am an individual <laughs> So yes, dyeing the bag is what we're going to be doing today because we're going to try to bring this thing back to life and stop it from looking so dingy. So the dye that I'm going to be using, so originally I was going to use this dye right here. This is the RIT Black All-Purpose Concentrated Dye. I was going to use this, I found it in my drawer um, yesterday and I was just like, I don't know if this is going to do the job and it's a good thing that I didn't just go ahead and try it with that and I actually went to the store and looked for you know a better option because I went and I got this yesterday this is still the RIT company but you see what it says back to black dye kit so this is going to be a little bit stronger than probably this would be so as you can see right here it says revive your faded clothing so this is specifically made to revive fading or dingy clothes so we are going to try with this and see if this can do the job and I like this kit because you don't have to get really nothing extra it comes with everything that you need so it comes with the jet black all-purpose dye it comes with the color stay dye fixative I guess that's like um, the after because it says it enhances the color and it comes with a pair of gloves now you know sometimes these kits don't be coming with the gloves that I like so I got my backup gloves right here <laughs> just in case so yeah we gonna go try this out we gonna match this dye with this bag and see what we come up with so let's get to dyeing all right y'all so before we dye the bag we gotta prep the bag and prepping just means cleaning it up a little bit from any stains that are on the bag so i just have a clorox wipe here that i added some soap to and i'm gonna wet the wipe just a little bit and i am going to kind of like massage the soap into the wipe then i'm going to take the wipe and i'm going to scrub any like imperfections on the bag like this is like some stains that i had got from sitting the bag down on the bottom and then anywhere else that you see any little stains you're just going to wipe them off with the wipe Next, you're gonna grab a tub that is big enough to hold three gallons of water, and I'm just gonna pour three gallons of very hot water into that tub. Then the instructions say to add one cup of salt, so I have one cup of salt here that I'm gonna add to the water. And the instructions also said to add one teaspoon of liquid dish soap, so we're gonna do that. I did grab the wrong spoon out of the kitchen, so we're just gonna eyeball it to what we think is one teaspoon, and boom, we're just gonna take the spoon and stir it into the water just so that the soap can kinda mix in with the water. And the gloves that were in the box were actually pretty good, pretty thick, pretty solid, past all the vibe checks. So we're gonna use these gloves to get this thing started. 
Then we're gonna grab our die and we're gonna shake it up, shake it up, shake it up and shake it. And then we're going to pour the dye into the water. Now in the instructions it said you can add half the bottle or the full bottle to get it even blacker. So you know we're trying to get maximum black. So we are going to add the entire bottle. Then I'm gonna go in with that spoon again and I'm just gonna stir the water to make sure that the color is evenly distributed throughout the water. Then we're just gonna grab our little crusty, dusty, ashy bag and we gonna dippity dip it into the water and you wanna make sure that you fully submerge the bag into the water so that the color can evenly distribute all throughout the bag and you wanna make sure that the water is over the top of the bag. You don't want any parts of the bag to be sticking out of the water or show. You need to push it all the way down so that it stays below the water. Then we're gonna grab our phone and we're gonna go to our timer and we're gonna scroll up until we reach 30 minutes, just like that. And then once we have it set at 30 minutes, we're gonna hit start and wait. Once the 30 minutes is up, then we're gonna go back into the restroom and now we're going to flip the bag over. So we let it sit for 30 minutes on one side and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes on the other side. So I'm gonna use the spoon to kind of help me maneuver the bag so I don't have to fully submerge my hand into the water, getting all the dye all in my glove and everything. So yeah, you're just gonna push it back down the way that you seen me do it earlier, just like that. And you'll do the same thing once again, set another timer for 30 minutes and let it sit for another 30. Once the second set of 30 minutes is up, your bag should now have soaked for a complete total of one hour. And once it has, then now you're going to remove the bag from the water. You're just gonna pick it up from the bottom like you see me doing here, and you're gonna let it drip. You're just gonna let it drip until it's not really dripping this fast, until it's like baby drip. So you're just gonna let all the excess water and dye drip off of the bag. And once it's completely dripped, you're gonna give it one little shake and you're gonna set it aside while you drain the dye from the tub. Once you've drained the dye, then you're going to fill the tub back up with another three gallons of hot water. Then you're gonna grab your Color Stay dye fixative and you're going to do another little shakety shake and shake it up like we did our dye. And then you're gonna pour again the whole bottle into the water. Then we're gonna grab our bag that we set to the side and we're gonna place it right back into that tub into the water. And this time we're only gonna be soaking our bag for 20 minutes instead of a full hour. So what we're gonna do in the first 10 minutes is we're gonna keep flipping the bag over. We're gonna keep pressing down and rolling and moving and swishing the bag around the water for about 10 minutes. And then after that 10 minutes, I'm going to let the bag just simply sit in the water for another 10 minutes, fully submerged underneath the water. And this is what the water is looking like after sitting for 20 minutes. It kind of bled off all the excess dye off of the bag. And once again, we're gonna remove our bag from the water. We're gonna let it drip, 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 drip. And we're gonna set it to the side and then we're gonna drain our water from our tub once again. Now we're gonna move our tub back into place. We're gonna put our bag back into the empty tub. And from here, we're going to spray our bag and we're gonna get any leftover excess dye off of the bag. So we're gonna keep spraying it and keep spraying the bag until the water runs clear. And as you can see, I filled the tub all the way back up with the bag on the inside and we can clearly see that there's not really any more dye that's coming off of the bag. So we're just gonna keep swishing it around and squeezing it just to make sure that all of that dye, all that excess dye is off of the bag. And you're gonna do this for as many times as needed to make sure that the water is completely clear. And once there is no more dye coming off of the bag, you're free to remove the bag from the water. Once again, drip, 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 set to the side and drain your tub. 
And this is what the bag looks like fresh out of the water. The bag is going to retain and hold a lot of that water. So what I'm gonna do is wrap the bag in a towel for about five, 10 minutes just to soak up some of that excess water. Then I'm gonna remove the bag from the towel and then I'm gonna set it somewhere for it to air dry. Ooh, okay y'all, so it's much, much, much later. And we finally finished the bag. It actually is wet, so we do have to wait for it to dry, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. I went through all the steps, put everything on the bag the way I was supposed to, and this is what it's looking like so far. It is wet, so it says on the instructions that when it's wet, it's going to look darker than what it actually is so we have to wait for it to dry to see what it's looking like you know out of the box so i'm gonna hold this right here and then i'm gonna put earlier when i showed it to you right here this is what it looks like right here so this is the now and this is before when i showed it to you guys this looks way better okay it actually looks black hopefully when it completely dries it is this black that i see it here um i will have to come back and show you once it is dry but right now it looks like a fire conversation okay so let me get the the strap let's get the strap and we're gonna do the strap test because y'all seen what it looked like before next to the strap look at what it looks like now next to the strap like this looks way better this actually looks black black and black before this is what it looked like before that's what it looked like before it looked like a dusty old dirty brown okay but this is what it looks like now that it is dyed way 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 better <laughs> <laughs> way better and where's the other strap let me find the other strap this is the other strap let's look at it next to the other strap this already looks way better so like i said we have to see once it dries so i'm gonna let this dry overnight a couple days however long it needs to dry and then i will come back on here and show y'all what it looks like it did dye the letters a little bit but i told y'all i didn't care on camera it looks kind of blue but it's not really blue. It's more like a, a gray. And it's a real pretty gray. So hopefully when it dries, dries, it's like a nice deep gray. So yes, definitely so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. So we just have to see where this goes once it dries. And once it does dry, I will come back on here and show you guys how it looks. I don't know how long it's going to take for it to dry. So we just have to see. So I'm going to let it sit overnight and then I'm going to check it in the morning. And then once it's dry, dry, then I'll show y'all the difference. But we're making progress. Closer, closer, closer to this bag getting back into rotation. Okay. And okay. So I'll see y'all once it's dry. Okay, y'all. So it's the next day. The bag is dry. I'm surprised that it dried this fast because, you know, it's been cold and rainy. And y'all know when it's cold and rainy, it takes for everything forever to dry. But no, the bag is completely dry. Have it right here. You hear it. So it did lighten up just a little bit. Like I said in the instructions, it said it would be at the darkest shade of black when it was um wet and now that it's dry it did lighten a little bit but it's nothing absolutely nothing like it was before okay nothing it is still black okay it's still black and it's still like a decent color like as you can see it looks a little brown on camera but it's not this color that you see on camera is not what i'm looking at it's actually black okay and like i said the the tote bag writing it's not uh white anymore it's like this gray color and i don't know why it looks blue because it's not blue it's gray and actually this gray is really 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 pretty so i like it and it doesn't have that ashy nasty brownish reddish color anymore it's just black and it looks like a canvas and it's cute okay it's back to being able to be presentable in the streets without looking like a homeless bag now i will hold the strap up so you can see how it did lighten a little bit because it did 
So as you can see, it's a little bit lighter now because yesterday when I showed it to you, it was more closer to this color, but it doesn't look bad now. Like before that ashy color just made it look terrible, but this, this is okay. It's cute. Okay. It's cute. And it's cute. So if you have this bag and your bag is faded and it's nasty, it looks brown red and like somebody drug it through a homeless encampment get you some dye and dye your bag dye your bag back to a decent color because now that this bag has been dyed and it looks presentable again your girl can rock it one more time one more again all of that and yes i am happy with the results of this bag i love how it looks now and when it fades again guess what we about to do we about to dunk it dip it dippity dip whatever we gotta do to get it back to this so that we can keep it in heavy rotation so that is it y'all that is all that's how you dye your bag and all of that so thank you guys so very much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe share and do what tell a friend to tell a friend to tell fomo friends because we got all the diys coming up coming back and we fence to get it so i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching bye